Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is Polar Opposites, it's the latest variant to hit the contest, variant 3, and this is the final quest of the final chapter. So we've just got this one Kang to defeat, and we will have our initial clear. So as usual, I am checking out the paths to find out which path is going to be the easiest for you guys to complete for your initial run. And I'm looking over these, and a lot of them don't look like they're going to be the easiest path. And that long-distance relationship, the uh, Void, looked like he could give you some trouble. All right? Now, this path here, the far right path, didn't look too bad to me. So it was between this path and the far left path. And I decided to go ahead and take this far left path. So that's my recommendation. Uh, this path, uh, I believe you don't do any damage except on your specials, and it's all or nothing. Now, the nice thing about that is that your specials do so much damage that you are more than likely going to take them out before they get to their special three. And with Ghost, especially, it's going to do crazy amounts of damage. And even if I push them to their special three, it doesn't matter because I can phase. I have the hood synergy and I won't take any damage, but I have to be careful and I have to make sure that I have that timing just right. Because if I hit and I still have that uh, precision buff up, I'm not going to be able to phase and it's going to be a bad day. But you saw there. Not too much of a problem. Didn't have to worry about the special three. So that is why I decided to go on this path here. All right. Now, if you've been watching the videos, you know the four main global nodes. But I'll go over them quickly uh, in case you've only watched this video and you didn't watch the others. So you have Apex Manufacture, Composite Construction, Stack Overflow, and Overclock. Apex Manufacture allows Sentinel to gain his analysis charges much faster and it effectively doubles his damage. Composite Construction, uh, all tech champions are immune to ability accuracy modification. So don't be afraid to fight that domino with uh, tech champions. Don't be afraid to fight Magneto with Ghost, for example. Uh, you won't have to worry about it. Uh, Stack Overflow, uh, Flow, each additional tech champion on your team increases the duration of the debuffs. Uh, there's some nice things that you can do with Starkey and Stun if you fill your team out with techs or even put a Miles Morales on there because he also extends the duration. You don't get a complete stun lock, but you can stun them for a very long time. And when your stun runs out, you're not able to build up to a special uh, one again. You can just do that final stun, hit him with a heavy, and bait out the special. And then you can do it all over again. So that's actually a really good tactic if you have them and you don't have ranked up five stars. Uh, and don't feel bad. You can definitely use four stars to complete these quests. So if you have four stars, I recommend that you boost and max out your four stars of course you don't want to take a lot of block damage because these guys have a crazy amount of uh, attack so they do a lot of damage but as you can see this path is is pretty easy all right now the final one is overclocked if you bring in a tech a non-tech champion uh you're gonna have your damage cut in half but if the non-tech champion you're using does a lot of damage anyway like Hyperion, then you're not gonna notice it that much. And if you're boosting, then you're gonna be just fine. So this variant, there's many ways to tackle this. You don't have to have the MVPs, which are Sentinel and Ghost, uh, to do this content. It is fairly straightforward, pretty easy. Um, so I would recommend everyone dive in, don't feel bad, don't be afraid. All right, 
Um, but yeah, I just saw that that path is the single, you know, one star chest path. So just like I'm often saying, that's how you can sort of tell what path is going to be the easiest. Uh, that's a, a good indication. It doesn't happen all the time. All right, so we're just blazing a trail during this path here. As you see there, just doing crazy amounts of damage. It was just sad what Ghost did to that Human Torch. I remember when Ghost first, uh, when I first encountered Human Torch with Ghost, and he wrecked me. But nowadays, no, I've learned to fight him. But in that case, I didn't even need to uh, do much of anything. Now, I'm running suicide, so I am doing uh, a bit more damage than you will if you're not running suicides. But I'm not boosted. Uh, I did boost during the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the uh, exploration. All right, I got caught there uh, by Proxima. Very annoying. But we took her out. I shouldn't have taken any damage on that fight, but I messed up. And she poked me. Got me in the corner and poked me good. All right. So next up, we have got Captain America Infinity War. Now, I was worried about this because of his block proficiency and uh, the glancing. But as you will see, we're not going to have too much of a, a problem here. Now, you can see I'm a little nervous, fighting a little bit. Uh, differently here uh, now the other thing that I did not mention and I only learned about that uh, after the first few fights you gain power by blocking so what you saw me doing there was gaining power while I was holding and just charging up uh, uh, a block all right so now we are facing Kang this is the final boss he has that selective time stream, picture of health, and in addition, his special attacks are unblockable. So what's the big deal about him? Well, every 20 seconds, he's going to heal up to full. If he doesn't have a shock debuff on him, he's healing up to full. All right. So you need to have a champion that can put a shock on him uh, within 20 seconds. Now... He also is immune to regen modification, so you can't stop it. So don't bother using the special one of Sentinel, because it's not going to work. All right? But I wanted to use my Starkey here, because on his special two, he has a shock, as you saw. So I'm like, okay. And of course, these are unblockable, but Starkey, he can put that taunt on him. And you see that? They'll fire it off. And so what I'm trying to do here is just building up to a special two before the timer runs down. That's the basic strategy. All right. Now, in this particular uh, fight, uh, I, I almost messed up. I did not want to push him to a special two because I have a hard time evading his special two. But Starkey, I think, auto evaded and helped me out. All right. So I'm back to just trying to build up to that special two, you see it's almost, almost right there. Got it. That was so close, okay? Uh, he would have healed up completely. All right, so now I'm like, all right, if he starts turtling, I have to be ready because I'm not about to let his health go all the way back up, okay? I pushed him to a special two again, but look at the timer. And he's hit sitting there. So I was like, nope, that's it. Starkey did good. So I didn't get a one shot with Starkey, but in my exploration, I have gotten one shots with Starkey. Uh, I usually did, uh, even if I wasn't boosted. I was a little bit more familiar with the fight. So now I'm going in with Ghost. She can't shock him as far as I know, but she does so much damage. I figured that with that little bit of health he had left, she should be able to take him out before the timer. And if not, pause, quit, and then Sentinel was still waiting. Sentinel handles this fight beautifully. You would just fire off your special two uh, within enough time and you're good. But down goes Kang. Not too difficult, no items used. All right, so that's gonna do it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Uh, I know that if you don't have Ghost 
or Sentinel, you may have a more challenging time, but hopefully I've given you enough advice that you'll be able to take in someone else and still complete this uh, quest. All right, so take care, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.